Hello, my name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here for our time with God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you that you teach us so many things, and we're eager. We want to meet you one day. We want to see you. Thank you for everything you do for us. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Do you know the answer to our trivia question? On what mountain did Moses receive the law from God? Which one? Do you know? What mountain? Mount Sinai. I hope you got it right. Okay. Today, I want to talk about doing service. I've learned a lot about that for a while now, from years ago. And it's interesting. Let's look at this verse. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7. With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. Okay. So a long time ago, I did landscaping, cleaning up yards. And I thought about it. I wanted to do my job and keep the yards nice for God. Of course, the company paid me to work, but I was trying and I always thought about doing my service for God. And it makes a huge difference. Instead of complaining or saying, oh, I have to do this when I don't want to. When you serve God and all you're doing, uh, if there, let's say there was garbage in somebody's yard, instead of complaining, I would pick it up or I wash dishes on a restaurant for God. Maybe your parents told you when you were kids to clean your room. You can clean your room for God. When you go to school or college, whenever you're writing or doing reports or studying, you can do it for God. Anything you do, you can do for God. And it's interesting. You'll learn so much when you're doing things for him. So when you're witnessing, of course, that's for God. Maybe you're driving to pick up your friend for church. That's doing something for God. Everything you do can be for him. And I remember that I'm doing it for him. I know your company pays you, or maybe you're a volunteer somewhere, but no matter what, do your work for him. And you'll learn so much. And you'll be so much more focused on God than on people. I work for them, yes, but it's important to do my service for God. Like in a backyard, when I'm mowing, I do it for God. When I clean the dishes, would anything you do in your life focus on him? and pleasing him and he'll take care of your needs. I'm so thankful for that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this verse that teaches us how to improve in our service for you. To not think, oh, I have to do this and these people need this and that means nothing. I don't have peace when I think about them. But when I do my work for you and I remember everything that you've given me and provided work for me, I do all these things for you, and it gives me joy in my life. You're precious, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So now, time for Bible trivia. Do you know this? What was the tabernacle for? What was the tabernacle for? A long time ago in Israel. 
Moses would set up a tent, the tabernacle. Do you know why? What was it for? Let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Remember, God will always be with you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.